Hey, it's Pete here for Studio Life today. It's time for another Garage Band. Quick hit. Let's go. Okay, in this video we're going to look at EQ. So what is EQ? EQ is like a volume adjustment that you can do at a specific frequency. So in GarageBand iOS we have a bass, a mid and a treble frequency that we can adjust up and down to adjust the sound of our track. To access our EQ we tap on the mixer icon in the top here, then we tap plugins and EQ and visual EQ. To adjust the frequency of our bass, mid or treble we slide to the left or to the right and we can select these at varying frequencies. We can then slide up and down to boost or cut at each individual frequency. And to remove any of the changes, we just double tap and each of these will go back to their default settings. It's important to keep in mind that EQ does not have an undo function. So if we find ourselves in a position like this with a crazy EQ, we just double tap and get ourselves back to normal. We can turn on the analyzer by tapping in the bottom left here. And now we can not only hear, but we can see the frequencies of our sound. Now let's use this drum loop track as an example here to show you how we can change our EQ. First of all, let's boost up a bass frequency and hear how this sounds. And we can hear we have much more bass by boosting that bass. Let's do the same with the treble, but let's cut and turn the treble way down. And you can hear now we have a lot of bass and very little treble. Another good way to enhance or remove a frequency is to sweep in the mid-range. So by doing this, we can find a frequency that we either want to boost or cut. Let's do that now. And finally, if we do boost or cut and we want to now adjust the overall volume, we can use this gain slider on the right to turn up or down the overall volume. And that is it, the basics of using EQ here in GarageBand iOS.